Some cars out there feel as though someone has taken the spirit of Jack the Ripper straight from the devil's cocktail closet and put it on wheels. They feel as though they are in cahoots with the angel of death to assure that you don't make it out of the experience alive. Everything about them screams towards the fact that they want you 6 feet under. So here are the 3 cars that will kill you. But before we move any further, please like this video and hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified of our latest videos. Now let's get into it. First on the list is the Dodge Viper. American-made supercar produces a terrifying amount of power weighted down by a monstrous 8 liter to 8.4 liter V10 motor. The SRT V10 motor also found in some Dodge trucks is an excellent platform for boosting, building and pushing out more power. As if they are not already scary enough to drive. Pressing the accelerator pedal can lead to an impressive launch or a sketchy slide. While the vehicle has a lot of power to offer and can hold traction once it is going, moving from a complete stop can be touch and go. This is problematic in any traffic where you might find yourself having to feather the gas just to keep the car under control. Like the name might suggest, the Viper has a striking and aggressive design and is unmistakable Dodge. In fact, everything about this supercar squeaks or screams Dodge. The doors are clunky and heavy and the car always shows to have noise from somewhere or another. Yep, it's a Dodge. You get what you get. After all, this is not a Ferrari. If you try to stimulate too quickly from a stop, the car undergoes a wheel hop, meaning the car seems to bounce out of control and not get traction. You may also have a problem grasping the road and just end up sliding all over the place. This can also happen if you do not accelerate quickly. At this point, the collective decision by the Viper drivers to own the car is an ongoing power struggle and you are actually trying to fight the gear lever to make the car run the way you want. This is a real driver's car, not for the faint-hearted. Generally speaking, if you are an experienced driver and this is not your first time driving a monster car, you may be completely safe. However, if you are an inexperienced driver, getting this car is probably not a good idea. Dodge Viper has been discontinued twice so far, but enthusiasts have not been fooled. We are still very optimistic that Viper will be put into production again in the future. Dodge did not make any statements in support of this, but we remain hopeful anyway. At number 2 we have the Ferrari 599 GTO. Many of the cutting edge solutions of the 599 GTO are also products of the experience of Maranello engineers developing the 599 XX. It is one of the fastest Ferraris of all time. Although their technical efforts keep you alive, once the little lever is closed, the game is over. After all, to build a larger car on the track with a much faster front end than Enzo, one has to play with the devil. If a Ferrari GTO of $410,000 gets you killed, it is very likely that you will have enough money in your overseas account to cover your funeral expenses. At number 3 we have the Venom GT. Venom GT is a beast high performance sports car produced by Hennessy Performance Engineering in Texas. Venom GT is based on Lotus Exige. In 2013 the Venom GT set a Guinness World Record for the fastest road legal car from 0 to 300 km per hour with an average acceleration time of 13.63 seconds. Additionally, the car set an unofficial record for 0 to 322 km per hour acceleration at 14.51 seconds, crushing the Koenigsegg Agueros time of 17.68 seconds. This makes it the unofficial fastest accelerating road legal car in the world. In April of 2013, the Hennessy Venom GT crested 427.6 km per hour throughout 3.2 km during testing at the Naval Air Station Lemoore in California. Hennessy used two VBOX 3i data logging systems to document the run and had VBOX administrators certify the numbers. The Venom GT uses a heavily modified Lotus Exceed chassis. The manufacturer says that the modified chassis uses components from the Lotus Exige, including the doors, roof, side glass, windscreen, headlamps and wiper. However, the manufacturer is not associated with Lotus cars. The car is registered as a modified Lotus Exige for road use and is not a series production car. And that concludes the 3 cars that will kill you. We would love to hear your thoughts about these deadly cars in the comments down below. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our new videos. We are Majestic Cars and we wish you a majestic day.